So I've decided against keeping the 2023 Toyota Tundra. Now I know what you're thinking, hey, 70 grand, why would you put all that money down on a truck like this and then just forget about it and say, get something else? Well, I wanna get something else, but there are some positives to my experience with it that I wanna share with you and then tell you why I'm not gonna keep it. So with that, let's get started. This starts at $38,000. Mine, as you see here, the TRD Pro is uh, 70 grand. Now what makes this vehicle special which they did in 2022, is they gave it a hybrid engine. So that's a big deal, but compared to the competition, it's 19 miles per gallon in mixed driving, just not quite where uh, the other full-size trucks are going right now. And it has some limitations in its payload, its towing. Ground clearance is good, in fact, better than Ford F-150, but it can only tow 12,000 pounds. The payload is less than 2,000. And it's got some limitations or not as many functions as I would like in the, the bed, specifically the tailgate. It does have that exclusive feature where the, uh, the window in the back goes all the way down instead of having one of those sliders, which is exclusive to Toyota. So if you have some Toyotas, whether it's the 4Runner, Sequoia or not, those, that uh, back window does come all the way down and I'll showcase that for you. Now the TRD Pro is a, an interesting package here with uh, the things on the outside, whether it be the wheels, uh, the trim, uh, the grill. I like the look of that. It's a manly truck. This is a truck for men. Say what you want. It's a man's truck. In fact, full-size trucks are definitely man trucks. Although I know the ladies, you love your, you love your full-size trucks too. I gotcha. But men, you want a truck, you gotta go full-size. And that's why uh, I got this initially. But just not happy with the fuel economy, the, the limitations of towing, hauling. Yeah, let's get into it a little bit more detail. Let's go outside. So you have two cab options, the double and the crew max. I like this is the bigger one, the crew max, because it has a full size door, which is good because you want all the space you possibly can have in the back. But uh, if you wanna have uh, more things to haul, just in case, if you're not gonna have the passengers, here's what you do here. Pull this strap here. This comes up, but it, the floor isn't as low as some of the competitors. You've got this box right here, and they got fuses in here, but you can't really get as tall things as other areas. Of course, I can walk in it. That makes sense. So that's fine, but with other trucks, this right here is not in the way, therefore you have more room. So, and in fact, if you sit in the middle, which I'll do, it's a very stiff center passenger spot. You straddle the center and the back is very difficult uh, to get comfortable with. But leg room is fine. My seat right here is all the way back. So even with the seat all the way back, I'm okay at 5'11", 193 with 15% uh, body fat if you're keeping track at home. So this is where I, what I look like behind the driver's seat, which is decent. Got the panoramic sunroof, moonroof. Gives the illusion, the feel of more space on the inside. Cup holders everywhere. So it's comparable in passenger comfort, except in the middle spot here. But the uh, versatility with space underneath, not as good. That's my take on it. Call me what you want to call me. I'm a little disappointed with the lack of special features with the tailgate yes it does have over here a button you can press to open the tailgate not one of this side but definitely one of that side but from here that's all you have you don't have a workstation laid out with whether it's uh, a tape measure a pair place for clamps necessarily nothing comes out here if you want to make a step onto it there's no step that folds out right here it's a pretty basic tailgate uh, there are three bed lengths. This is the five and a half, there's a six and a half. There's also an 8.1 inch or eight foot one inch uh, bed. So you have some versatility with the bed lengths, three of those, two cabs, three, three bed lengths. So that's good, mine's not so great. Uh, there is an outlet right here, so you can charge up some tools if you want so. Uh, other than that, 
I don't know, just not super impressed with that. Now the uh, the camera system in this is pretty damn awesome. The camera that looks over the bed while you're you can while you're driving, you can zoom in on it. I'll show you that. It's also the camera right here, 360 degree camera, so you can see all around you. So when you go into those tight parking spots or just maneuvering at the lake, campsite, whatever, that's fine. But other than that, that's what it has. Just a quick look and some numbers about the uh, the powertrain. There's two options. You got the hybrid and non-hybrid. Hybrid is a special one, right? 3.5 liter uh, twin turbo V6 hybrid, 437 horsepower, 530 or 83 pound-feet of torque. So those are the numbers with the hybrid 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, if you want with just the gas, then you're looking at the non-hybrid version. Uh, between 348 and 389 horsepower, and between 405 and 479 pound-feet of torque with the non-hybrid. Again, both are mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. And again, you've got rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive as options. And once again, 19 miles per gallon in mixed driving with the hybrid engine. That ground clearance number, by the way, 9.3 inches. Super impressive. Nice job, Toyota. Inside the Tundra has some good things going for it for 2023. Let me show you those. Again, this is not all bad. It's just not for me. Hey, it's my money, my choice. I'm gonna make my own decision that's best for me. You can do what you want. Okay, check it out, 14 inch. Touchscreen infotainment screen right here, 12.3 inch instrument, uh, digital instrument cluster. Beautiful graphics, this is awesome. I, I love how up to date they are with that. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of fuel economy, the history that I've had with it. Most recently, uh, that's the best I can do, 15.8 miles per gallon in mixed driving. So again, that's why, one of the reasons why I'm not keeping this bad boy here. Trip information, not the vehicle, go back to it. All right, enough with that. Music, that's great right there. So instrument cluster, look how sharp this is. It shows that my left door is open. Same thing with other doors that are open. Let me show you, uh, let's go with the glass. Can you see the glass in the back? Of course you can. Yep, that's how it opens. Beautiful, all right here. Wireless charging pad for your devices, which is good, it should be there. It's also a USB port up here. Inside, a fairly deep center console with more USB ports and storage. Cup holders, obviously, your two wheel uh, high, four wheel high, drive modes, there's eco, multi-terrain system. So it's got all those things here, the, tool, the hall mode. Now here's your view, I really like this part here. Now we're going 360, my friends, 360 around the vehicle so you can see where you're parked and have where you are in relation to everything else, obviously, right? Let it go through its uh, full paces. And then we'll do uh, a couple other things. We'll be able to look behind the vehicle and such. So I'm gonna pop it into reverse. Now you can look at the front. Actually, that, that's the front. This is the back. This is the uh, side mirrors looking front, side mirrors looking back and I wanna look in the back of the truck. There it is, sharp. Zoom in on it so I can wanna see some details of what's in my truck bed. There you go, loving it, looks great. So that's one of some of the things I like about that camera system, very sharp. Uh, other than that, it's a comfortable drive. It's a comfortable place to be. Steering wheel mounted controls, pretty straightforward with the lane departure alert, adaptive cruise control, setting your cruise control, obviously. Bluetooth technology, answering the phone volume for your radio, satellite radio, and so on. So all those things are just like it was in 2022 for 2023. Got some nice little leather stripes on here. Some more badging along the vehicle. Plenty of space back here over the shoulder and there's that panoramic sunroof, moonroof. So I do like the interior. I do like the interior. There's some good things about this that I like. Just uh, not enough compared to the competition. Now, I don't want you to get me wrong. I'm not hating on Toyota. I'm a former Toyota 4Runner owner. I like the brand. I like the vehicles. Uh, but I'm also a Ford owner. So I know the differences between what Ford has to offer and what Toyota has to offer in the full-size category, at least right now. There are some positives. Not enough for me. And fortunately, as an automotive influencer, yeah, I've been doing this about 10 years or so. As you've noticed, probably by looking at the channel, 2,000 videos on here. I'm reviewing new vehicles every week. 
I'm not gonna keep this one because I don't own it. It'd be kind of cool if I did have it. I'd love to have a fleet of vehicles. I'd love to be able to buy some of these for long-term reviews, but that's just not the case. So yeah, as you've been watching these things, you get to this point in the video, clearly I'm kind of in jest about, hey, I plopped down 70 grand for this. I have not done that. Uh, and I wouldn't do that, at least not with this one. That's a lot of money for a full-size truck. And of course, you can get the uh, $38,000 base model. I just happen to have a, a higher trim level. Uh, those go a little bit more expensive than that. Anyhow, thanks for watching. That's just my take on this. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't kick it out of the driveway if I had this for real. It's, it's an okay truck, but I think, you know, if you go with the Ram 1500, Silverado 1500, F-150, uh, when it comes to numbers and, and uh, specs, those have better numbers, except for the ground clearance on this one here. It's, uh, to me, it's a, a no-brainer. Those other ones have the advantage as of now. It's not a bad vehicle. It's got great, uh, a great reputation. Just, uh, not for me. Understand? Cool? Are we good? Hey, happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Take care. Just keep living. Adios. One final note. If you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.